Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today we are in the garage and I'm on a different camera, so sorry if this video doesn't turn out great. This new camera has some different settings and things on it, so if the picture is not great or whatever, I do apologize and I, I will make sure I correct it for the next one. But we're going to talk about a simple topic today, how to choose a toolbox for your truck and how to install it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to choose a toolbox for the back of your pickup truck. So let's let's get into talking about the different types of toolboxes and what is going to be best for you. You guys are going to have to decide that. The first thing you need to do is um, do you have a full size truck or do you have a compact truck, I guess you could say, or mid size truck? because that's gonna be one of the first determining factor on which toolbox you buy when you go to the store. Uh, this is a full size truck, so uh, we picked one for a full size truck. And you can see, obviously this was tractor supply. And here's a fitment guide, talks about Ford F-150s, and these are all, all bigger trucks here. So, uh, yes, here we go. So this is what I wanted to show you. Fits full size trucks. So whether you buy it online or you buy it at a tractor supply or not a parts store, you want to make sure you get one for the appropriate truck. So again, since mine full size, we got a full size box. So the next thing you want to decide is what type of box do you want? There's all different styles. This is what, uh, as you can see here on the screen, uh, they call this a low profile deep crossover truck box. So what that means is the section from here to here, your truck bed is, is gonna sit here. So everything from here up is gonna stick up above the box here like this. So low profile means that you're not gonna have very much sticking up and probably, you know, every truck's gonna be different, but this truck probably will, the box will barely block any of the bottom of the window. Um, so it's not going to be a big deal and that's why I like the low profiles because they don't block your window and your view out the window. Uh, with that though, you do lose, you know, everything has uh, good and bad. So what that does is it cuts down on your overall storage capacity. So I got the deep box so that I did not lose storage capacity. Uh, what that will mean though is with this being deep, it means it's gonna come down pretty far in the box and there will not be a huge gap. There'll be a little gap and you'll see at the end of the video. Um, there's not gonna be a big gap underneath the box from the box to the bed. So that means if you haul a lot of wood, two by fours, things on a regular basis, um, some hand tools, weed whackers, different things like that, you're not gonna have enough room to shove those items underneath this toolbox and take uh, the use the full potential of your bed. So the next thing you could do would be to get a low profile with a shallow box, which uh, I believe they're from here down. I was measuring yesterday when I picked this one out was about 10 inches. So you gain a tremendous amount of bed space where you can work under the box, but you start to lose a lot of storage space. So that's a decision that you have to make for yourself, what you're going to be doing with the truck. Um, I don't care about having all that space underneath. I wanted the biggest box I could get that didn't block my window. And that's why I chose this one. Now, if you still would like to have a bigger box and you want that clearance, you can buy a standard profile top, not the low profile. You can buy a standard profile, which would come from here up. Let me make sure I'm in the screen. Okay. Up to about here. So you gain a bunch of your storage space, but you gain it on the top rather than the bottom. So it gives you that bed clearance and it kind of moves it up to the top. So what that will mean is that obviously now your toolbox, instead of mine sticking up to about here, yours is probably going to come to up there where it, depending on your seats and configuration, you may start to block some of your view out the back window. Uh, so there's give and take with everything, uh, you know, it's up to you what you want to do and what you want to use the box for and the bed space. So once you've determined all of those factors, 
the next thing is sort of the style of box. Mine has one solid lid all the way across. And this one happened to come with the two little lockable buttons on each side. So some of these you can get with two lids where they would open up this way. It'd be hinged in the center on both sides and they would open up on the edges. So that's one style. I have seen styles that have actually have drawers in them. Those start to get awful expensive. It's good if you haul just a lot of tools. I haul all kinds of things, so I prefer to have a deep box with no drawers. Uh, and then there's the style that has the latches here as opposed to the button on the side. So there's all different things. I, I personally like the big lid. Sometimes it's a little harder to close when you're standing on the ground, which is sort of the advantage of those that are hinged in the middle. However, if you have wider objects you want to put in there, like small hand tools and things like that, this is going to open up all the way so the top of your box is completely open. If you have one that hinges in the middle, you're going to have a piece in the middle where the hinges mount and it's going to block the ability to put things straight in from the top. Okay, so now let's talk about a few other things. Let's talk about the quality of the box. So again, using Tractor Supply because this is where I bought it. I'm sure other manufacturers might have similar situations. Tractor Supply has three different uh, ratings, I guess you could say, of toolboxes. This is the gold box, which is the highest quality box. It comes with a five-year warranty. They have boxes that have three-year warranties and boxes that have one-year warranties. So that's just something that you have to decide what the quality is that you want. Okay, so now that we've picked out the style, we picked out the color, we picked out the lid, we picked out the quality, all those things. The next thing you need to look at is the fitment of the box. So uh, I had just previously told you that I wanted to use the, the chrome box that was over there and I can't use it. That box was used on an eight foot long pickup bed. This truck has the 6'4 bed and what happened was because it was the low profile, when I went to put the box in, so it came out and it stretched to about here. And if you drop down, the bottom corner of the box hit the fender well and it would not rest on the rail. So basically in the eight foot box, this fender well is back quite a bit. So it's not even in your way. In this particular truck, uh, with the short box, it moves the fender up, so that is something you need to measure when you decide to get a box. Okay, so we got the box open. Here are the keys to the box, and you can see there's all these different slotted holes here to make mounting easier. We have our wonderful instructions there, and then, you know, same thing on the other side. So, they give you some little foamy pads. The other thing I noticed, and why it's important to watch this video is you notice what it says here it says stop don't drill holes in your truck be sure to pick up a toolbox mounting kit well that's just great my other toolbox uses like a little j hook that goes down and hooks underneath the rail i it that toolbox came with those hooks so i assumed that this toolbox was going to come with those hooks it apparently does not. So I hope you watch this video before you're buying your toolbox so you know to pick one of those up. I'll be honest, that's pretty annoying after spending over $400 for this box to find out that they can't even give you the hardware to install it. So lucky for me, I got a bunch of bolts and things. I may have some over there, but I can steal them off the other toolbox for now because I don't have a truck to put that on right at the moment. So I'm going to steal them from there, but you know, it's just one of those things. Hopefully you watch this before you buy one and I save you a trip back to the store. Okay. So we got our little felt pieces here. You can see that they kind of split here. So there's actually six little felt pieces. So what we're going to do is we'll, we'll take those off after and you can mount underneath. You can put one under there, under there, and under there on each side. That's three on each side. We have six. 
and that just gives a little cushion kind of protects the top of your bed rail a little bit instructions that came with this actually want you to drill holes in your truck and use sheet metal screws to install it i don't particularly care for that option i think that's kind of ridiculous this is what came with the other toolbox hang on my screen went dark there we go these came with the other toolbox so basically this would come up through here we've got i'm sorry we've got um, a nut and some washers to put on it's actually kind of a tight fit but then this hooks up underneath here like that you know your hook and then you tighten the box down all right we are golden we got plenty of room here um like i said the other box was an inch inch and a quarter deeper and it wouldn't clear but this one's perfect so i actually don't have to shim it at all it fits in here nice and i mean you can kind of see even the low profile it actually blocks a little more of the window than i thought but it doesn't block any of the usable space because there's a kind of a black trim around the window that comes all the way up to here so you can't see out anyway so it's still below the usable window and you know if you had the one that was not the low profile you'd be up another three four inches actually blocking the window there some so again just just something to think about depending on your application so what i'm going to do next is i got these you know these little foamies that came so we're going to take, uh, like I showed you earlier, and we're just going to put, now that I know it fits and where to put them, I'm going to get the box centered, and then I will figure out uh, where to put them. You want to fit your box first, because if you put these on and you put them, say, here, obviously my bed rail is way out here, so if I would stuck them on first, it wouldn't have done any good. So I'll get it centered, and then I'll just stand down here on the ground and lift it up and throw these three in on each side. I won't film that because it's pretty easy. They just stick on there, and I'll get back to you when I have finished that. I decided to drill my own hole in the center of the box just because right now all I have is one of these hooks for each side, and it's a little bit more stable having it in the center. So I'll probably move that to here when I get a second one to put in there so then i'll have two on each side but um anyway lesson learned so i did that on both sides got that done and i also you can see they don't quite fit perfectly i took the rubber mats these are actually uh horse stall mats we use them for the goats and i have some scrap pieces that i had in that toolbox that i brought into here it's great to do something like that whether you find some cheap pieces of foam or uh, you can find an old a uh, couple of old uh, floor mats for like a truck or something just put something down there to protect the bottom of the box if you're going to be putting things in there that are heavy and sharp uh, usually i have like some chains and binders and things that i'll toss in here in the toolboxes so those kind of things can kind of dent the bottom of your box and this will help cushion and protect it so that is pretty much it uh, don't forget i cut my keys off don't forget to take your keys and you know put one on a key ring and one in another place so you don't lose them but overall a little dirty but here's the finished product i'll climb down so you can get the full effect and there's the box it almost disappears in the back of the truck so I know this video probably got a little long. I hope it was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions about the install or the box or anything, leave them in the comments down below. I try and do these helpful videos. Again, these are kind of just beginner type videos for people that have maybe not done this before, or aren't very good with tools, or not sure what to do, what to buy. Uh, anyway, hope it was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Questions, comments down below. Don't forget subscribe button, please. Bell icon. Catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.